when you have someone who is on the higher end of the spectrum, does it often go undiagnosed? Uh, yes, it does. Um, there's often a number of comorbid conditions. Uh, for example, my son had temporal lobe epilepsy and ADHD. So he was treated for those things and then at 13 only was he diagnosed with Asperger's. Mm -hmm. And there are a lot of uh, interventions you can do from an early age. Mm -hmm. The sooner you diagnose the child, the better. So there are a lot of interventions which are solely geared for autistic mm -hmm. um, children. And missing out on all those years um, is, you know, it's, they, they, it could have, you know, his life could have been a whole lot different mm -hmm. growing up if we'd had the right interventions. Yeah. Now, we've spoken about the higher end of the spectrum. I want to speak about the lower end of the mm. spectrum. What do those um, children or people experience? Um, it is obviously difficult to say what they experience, but mm. um, as I mentioned, the sensory problems, yeah. um, the, the bright lights, a lot of noise, that's why it's quite difficult to take um, an autistic child out mm -hmm. in a, into a shopping mall because um, they can't stand the crowds the, um, they, and they get a lot of anxiety and that's often then they will have meltdowns or throw tantrums because they can't handle the noise or traveling in a taxi with 20 other people that is very stressful for the uh, for the autistic child and often they, 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 they're they bombarded with all these sensory things they can't mm -hmm. verbalize what they're feeling um, because a lot of them are nonverbal, yeah. and so it, it's. I think it would. It, a large portion part of um, autism is anxiety, because they don't know how to mm -hmm. cope with all this this information that they've been bombarded with yeah. in their world. Now, is the proper treatment readily available in South Africa for people who are diagnosed with autism? Um, th it's very difficult. Um, if you sort of have got funds, then you can afford the uh, speech therapy, the occupational mm -hmm. therapy, behavioral therapy. But if you um, more from the, from the lower income, it's very difficult. Sometimes uh, they have to wait up to nine months to get an appointment at a state. Wow. hospital. Once they've been diagnosed, they get put on a waiting list for an autism specific school and that can take up to three to five years to get a place. Um, and also they don't often get the, they might get occupational therapy or speech therapy once a month. Mm -hmm. And you need to have at least an hour a day. So a lot of the children aren't getting the intervention that they need. And one of the things that we do do is um, give our parents um, stimulation kits and we train them up in how to give their children therapy at home, which they can obviously do on a daily basis, also empowering the parents to do something to help their children.